find something you love and pursue it. it. It doesn't matter what it is. If you want to be a football player, be a football player. If you want to be an artist, be an artist. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's just something you love and you're passionate about. You're going to have to bust your butt. You're going to have to put in the work, the time. All that stuff is going to come in. But it's all going to pay off at some point. It's all going to be worth it. So realize how short life is. Now, you've got to make the most of every moment, every day, like doing stuff you love. Now, I'm doing that to my fullest ability, right? So jiu-jitsu is what I love. Jiu-jitsu is my life, and I'm having a good time doing it. Having, having Cole as a training partner has been has been awesome. We, we train every single day together, and uh, we're we're constantly, you know, on the mats trying new things, uh, working a technique, and uh, you know, my poor wife too. That's one of Cole's. She doesn't get a lot of credit, but she's one of Cole's main training partners as well. Your kids are special at something. They're good at something. It's our job as parents to expose them to as many things as you can, as much as you can, and then find out what your kids love and then get behind them and enable them to do it to their best abilities. A lot of parents come up to me and say, man, how do you make Cole so focused? How do you make him love jujitsu so much? Um, and I tell them, it's what he loves. I could not be more proud. He's, he is just the most amazing kid, the most focused kid. My job as a mom has been so easy, so easy. He's just, he's caring, he's loving. He does what he's supposed to do. I mean, he still has fun. He's not a boring kid by any means. He, he's, he's focused, but yet he still gets out there and has a great time. This is the most important. This is how, how you gotta see this sport. It has to be fun, you know what I mean? And he's obviously enjoying the match. And, and, and that's what, you know, make me happy. See, he's, he's, he's doing his, uh, you know, taking this serious. If, if I wouldn't have taken that step and brought him to that first class, who knows, he'd still be playing baseball or basketball right now, maybe not loving it, maybe being good, um, but doing it because that's what I want him to do. It's amazing to have a kid that's he's only 13 he already knows what he, wants, what he wants to do with his life and it's something that he loves it's not just hey i want to find something that i'm going to make money or whatever that's not his focus he, he found something he really likes and he can make a career out of it so it's so awesome him and jeremy are our are best friends and i love that and and with jujitsu too like the fact that they both love it i mean what mom what wife is going to be mad that their husband and their son spend hours a day together in a, in a place where they're, you know, physically active, they're, they're, you know, surrounded by people that care about them. So the fact that he's chosen that is just phenomenal to me. Like, love you, kid. If he wanted to be a painter or an artist, then I would go buy the best paintbrush I could afford the best canvas I could afford and get him the best lessons that I could afford if that's what he loves. Um, it just so happens that he loves jujitsu, so, you know, that's why we're all in on this.
I'm just confident in my technique and my game plan, my strategy, and that I can do whatever my heart desires. So if I want to be a world champion, then I'm going to work hard as much as I can, as much as I need until that happens. I'm not the one to say that I'm the best. I'm not the one to say that I'm a prodigy, but I d I'm definitely confident in myself and all the things that I do.